me show you. Let me show you something interesting. Different. This is a Celtic cross I made years ago. I used to make these for a living. I've sold thousands of these probably all over the world. And uh, I got tired of making them because there was kind of... I didn't enjoy making them anymore, to be honest with you. I, did, I just think, felt I was copying other people's designs, even though I was like putting my own spin on them. I didn't really, I didn't really feel I was like pushing myself or exploring myself artistically. But this one is neat because I made this from the rafters of an old church nearby here that had collapsed, and uh, you can actually see the the old beams. I God knows how old this this wood is, but uh, I just cut it down into shape and. I formed the cross, the ba basic cross shape, and then I got old bog wood from the bogs around here, so that's probably ancient as well. And uh, I glued it onto the frame, and then I painted all the Celtic designs all over it, which was kind of neat. But uh, it, prob it needs a bit of a clean up this, but I just got to thinking how un unchristian the thing is, especially when you look at it from this side. So it's, it's, it's very, it, you know. Uh, the Celtic cross is kind of mysterious, the shape of it. Uh, some people say that this, these represent the four cardinal points of north, south, east and west. Other people say it's a phallic thing. Other people say this is the sun, the central section is the sun. And hence, you know, the whole idea is Jesus has been the son of God. So I just thought, I'd like, I just dug that out today. I just thought you'd like to see it. This is this used to be my old job until about two or three years ago, and uh, this is the only one I have left. I've made, I used to make these in all different sizes and different shapes, uh, and they were very popular and uh, did well out of them. But then, uh, you know, I, I don't really believe in like the whole Jesus thing anyway, so I kind of felt like a bit of a hypocrite selling this stuff to Christians and Catholics and stuff and. I was planning to give this one away to charity and I, I contacted, when they had the floods in New Orleans, in the Katrina hurricane, uh, I contacted some churches down there and they said they were interested in it, but you know, I was going to give it to them, but then they never, uh, they never got back to me for some reason, like maybe the churches were never built. There you go, Celtic Cross, made from wood, hundreds of years old, from an old church with Bog oak that could go back ten, you know, thousands of years, back to the time of the Celts. Well, the Celts didn't really exist in Ireland, but back to the ancient peoples. And uh, so there you go. Nice cross. I'll sign the bottom and everything for you. Okay. I better get back to work.